welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to Irish and Chin's YouTube channel. I need y'all to check out our radio platform, soundchatradio.com. Soundchatradio.com is broadcasting to 31 cities worldwide. If it's in the news, we are talking about it right here at soundchatradio.com our way. It's entertainment. It's music, but most of all, it's conversations happening here at soundchatradio.com. Just so you don't miss out, do yourself a favor right now and subscribe, like, and share this channel, right? And don't forget to press that notification button. It's soundchatradio.com, 24 hours a day. Now, I don't know if you guys, I'm not going to go into it tonight, but I, I'm ticklish with the anthem thing. Yeah. I'm for anthems and I'm also not for anthems at the same time. It depends on how they're used, right? Mm -hmm. Um so, you know, the anthem thing um anthem thing is not it's great to have anthems for, you know, for me as a as a sound man cuz you look forward the the, the 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 audience looks forward for those dubs to be played and to bust up the place and blah 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 blah. So, I'm really good with anthems. I'm bad with anthems in the sense that I see a lot of selectors use it to save their lives. Mm. I, I, I I see where when they're on the ropes, they come out fighting with it. You know what I mean? Um, so, and some of you saying, well, that's what anthems are for. And it, it's cool, I get it. But I also respect the sound systems who don't have that, you know, that, that big artillery to run back to when they get in <clears> trouble <throat> and still find their way true. out of the competition. Yeah, true, true, you true. know what I mean? Because some people... You know, I know when a sound is in trouble. If you know sound system culture and you know Clash, certain sound man, from you hear them draw a certain tune and you look at the time and the dance that it's being drawn, you know they under pressure. True, true. So if you're a real man that knows how to take apart cassette and, you know, analyze what was going on even though you weren't in a venue and it's two big sound systems that you know their box, you'll say to yourself, but wait, Oh, a second round and them man they play them tune there already, you know? Mm -hmm. And and you say to yourself, yo, there was there was heat in that that. Somebody True. did under pressure. True. And then they need forget look a muscle for come out of the, the corner that they were in. You know what I mean? And and that, that's what it is. I listen to key words in when I'm doing audio tapes, right? Yo, nothing not start yet means that you're flopping to me. True. Right? <laughs> there, 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 there's things. Yeah. Yo, we are tell third third round, yeah. right? You think right. my player nothing yet? I hate, da, 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 da. I hate those You know, words. these things lead me to the to the side of, yo, even though you're playing, there's a possibility that the audio sounds good, but the crowd is not nah, into what you're doing yeah, right true. now. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I analyze audio totally different yeah. from most people. Back in my analyzing audio days, yeah. now I don't even listen to, to audio. I don't, I'm not into it like that. Mm -hmm. But back in the days, man, me ear a sound a talk, you know? Yo, you think nothing has started yet? Oh, wait. You flopping. True. You flopping. Yep. Yo, I early juggling. <laughs> you flopping. What, this means that you're playing big songs, mm -hmm. but the songs are not connecting with the crowd, so you're promising the crowd that your selections are going to get better as the night goes on. True. Right? That's all that means. Yeah. We don't analyze it that way because we're stupid. But that's what it is. <laughs> We, we, yeah, man, the man, I hold back two yeah. tune and nah, <clears throat> if you was in the dance, you would realize that when them big song, the play where you say a big song, nobody was moving because exactly. sound clash is not about how big your songs are if you're playing big songs that's not resonating with the audience. Sound clash is about oh. uh, um, motivating audience, right? Sound clash is about getting the audience to rail. That's what clash is. Clash is not only about big tune. So some of you keep listening to audio and feel like, yo, that man you play a bigger tune in them. Yeah. Or them say fat man win no. and Chin play a bigger song. True. Don't mean nothing. Chin flopped. Yep, Chin didn't have no momentum. No momentum. So <clears throat> whoever the crowd is going for, I owe the crowd a guffer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? And sometimes the audio does not reflect who the crowd was going for. True. Especially if you're somebody who is just entertained by big songs. Big songs don't really mean shit. Yeah, that's true. In, in the in the broader scope of things, because sometimes you would put together three artists, but I, yo, me have a rhythm, put on a rhythm. I may have sent for three bad artists. And when you say, yo, me have Bujo, Killer, Beanie Man. And the crowd say, yo, that bad. And then when you play it, nobody not into the song. True. But you listening to the audio, they say, yo, 
Wicked. We are talking about shell down just play the three me them mm. never hear that yet. That me doesn't matter. You know what? Sure. Call your life. Chen. Yes. I got a question, right? So why uh, in every other genre, right? Like let, let's put hip hop as an example, right? Uh we've had we've had the, the traditional guys, you know, the run DMCs, the the rock games, whatever. And, and now we have the guys that we have now, right? And 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 generally, we embrace the Rock came and the Run DMCs, but we also embrace the guys that are here now, right? Even though some people say, okay, it's not, it's not the the, the fundamentals or whatever they're lacking the fundamentals, but we still embrace them, right? For the most part. Why why everybody call about this? These it's old. They gotta have anthems and they gotta have. Like, come on, man! It's like me. Want, it's like it's like me, me dating and asking for a traditional woman in 2021, 2022. Like, come on! It, the times have changed. It's an anthem thing. I personally do not want to go to a dance looking for a certain song. Like, so a song lasts. A song lasts right now about five five days. I wouldn't even say a week. One song is hot for five days, but another song is out. So I don't want to go hearing the same song. So that becomes Sorry. tricky. It's tricky. Let me let me explain to you why it's tricky, right? An anthem is a special kind of achievement for a sound system, right? It means that you have been accepted to a degree that people look forward for you to play a certain selections in your box. That's a great thing. That's not a bad thing. The bad thing is that a lot of us seem to feel that it is mandatory that everybody reaches that level. You can be a champion sound in Sound Clash without having anthems. However, a lot of us tend to hype the sound systems that have the bag of anthems over the other ones who don't have the anthems but are still killing sounds, right? So, you know, again, in plain English, it's an achievement. It's a big achievement for you to be... It's almost like... Yesterday, nobody knew you, right? Yeah. Now you walk into any place and everybody knows who you are. That's what an anthem is. But Chen, Chen, let me, let, me, let, me, let me address the anthem part as it relates to Soul Supreme, right? Because I, I, I consider myself a Sun Clash addict. You understand me? So for the, top, for the last 10 years, not, not 10 years, but I would say the last eight years, when Soul Supreme returned back into the Sun Clash fraternity industry, right? Soul Supreme have bust plenty of songs. But what I realize is they don't get the time to become anthems or any songs in Soul Supreme's caliber don't get the, 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 their songs don't become anthems because other songs are quick to, to, to copy it. Like that, that one song, Style, Style, that is a Soul Supreme song. But every song copied it. So it never was registered as a Soul Supreme anthem. But who knows knows that song is a soul to but, but, song. But listen now, again, this is a huge debate that opens a whole heap of doors in the Pandora box, right? Because I, I don't think it's a debate, though. No, it is, it is mean, a debate. Realistic. It is a debate. You know why? Right? The first person to play a song, and you guys got to understand this. You said you're a sound class specialist, right? And I'm not doubting you. But let's put the facts on the table. The first person to play a song is not always responsible for it to become an anthem. It's who makes the song famous, gets the no, anthem saying, credit. Okay. Right? So, 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 so maybe, maybe, maybe I worded that wrong. Soul Supreme was not only the first song to play a lot of those songs, a lot of the chronic songs as well, they were the first song to make it popular in song class. Now stop, but I realize stop, that stop, every, stop. Uh, you see? Right now, hold on, mm. stop. We're talking, we're having a conversation. Now, yeah, when, you're I'm saying, I'm when you're saying that Soul Supreme was the first to make it popular in Sound Clash, right? How are you defining popular? Are you defining popular as worldwide? Or are you defining popular as local? Because since Soul Supreme has come back on the market as good as Soul Supreme is today, right? When Soul Supreme came and they got to their peak, there was really no worldwide um, arena anymore, right? So, and, and, and so that, this, and that, this is and the that problem. Is very true. This is the problem. That's so, very true, but, but so, that's, so the, Supreme, that's the industry that they were dealt that they had to they had to deal with. So now we got to say that the reason possibly why Soul Supreme don't have the anthems is because the global sound clash arena that once existed 
doesn't exist right now. You cannot make an fact. anthem playing from one corner of the room. And, and Soul Supreme and is fact. playing from one corner of the room. It's not their fault, but them not killing a sound in the middle of London. Then them go kill a sound in the middle of Kingston. And then yeah. them go a Canada. And then they're in the U.S. And they're not doing that three and four times like the Charo did, the, so, so, the so base Addisys did. Mm -hmm. So based on what you're saying, there's plenty of factors why these so-called anthems are not being made. Of course. But I'm just, I'm, I, but on a local, I'm looking at it from, from, from a local lens, so to speak, right? It seems as though when Soul Supreme play a song, okay, and make the song popular with about one to three dances or a few dances, it seems like the entire New York fraternity of sounds go cut the same song. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just here looking in. Like it just seems to me that Soul Supreme to me is the most copied sound within the last six to eight years. And that could be true because Soul Supreme has been very current in the last, you know, six to to, to eight years, right? Mm -hmm. They've been, you can't deny that. Like Junior P and Richard, them always are cut dub, mm -hmm. right? But we also got to look into the factors why, mm -hmm. right? You got to ask yourself this. When we talk about anthems, right? Since you guys, you know, talking about anthems, right? Very few sounds have new anthems. Most of the sound them where, where can beat anthem, the anthems are old. Yeah, definitely. They're old Thank anthems. I, was just, I just True. wanted to make that point. What was the last anthem made within the last eight to ten years? You, you understand what I'm saying? Where anywhere you go, people know say I hear a song that. Yeah. They're all old. I, I think the most current anthem is the Soul Supreme Chronic Barrington Levy. And that was copied a lot. And I'm telling you, right, as much as we want to say that, right, Soul Supreme is not getting credit for that, bro. They're not getting credit for that. Crown has it. Other sounds have it as mm -hmm. well. Soul Supreme had it first, yep. right? But at the end of the day, because there was no global movement, Soul Supreme did not get the credit true. for originating that song. Yeah, true. So we got to understand what it is. Yes, everybody are, you know, and, and I'm sure, because I tease Junior sometime, um, you know, you hear a man with that song, you cut it, right? Soul Supreme has brought some creative dub plates to the arena in the last couple of years. Don't get me wrong, right? But because of the lack of movement, yeah, right? Definitely. If a BS Odyssey cut their song, or a Jaro cut them song, or a Mighty Crown cut them song, or a Mataran cut their song, guess what? They're not gonna get credit for it. Yeah, true. Because them <laughs> songs is moving. True. And that's just the reality of it. It's unfair though. It is unfair. But it's the it's the industry that we live in. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, um, look at the um um Many they trying to ask the big bass Odyssey sound. There wasn't bass Odyssey song. Yeah. There wasn't bass Odyssey song. Bass Odyssey was moving. Yeah. Bass Odyssey bust the song. Yeah. It's bass Odyssey song. But sounds had it before. I, I would want to gamble that Manoj Jara didn't have it before bass Odyssey. That yeah. I know for a fact. But I think LP also had it before Odyssey as well. See but who, who's, who's anthem is it? It's bass Odyssey's. All right, I want to ask you one question. See, now that we depend on the anthem argument, may I listen to the recent Stone of Anniversary, right? Mm hmm And there was a part in there where we post, say, um, with, um, you know, the bojo in the, um, I run up in my food, and me, um, I run up in the feds, and my food gets so sick off. Yeah, yeah. He said, uh, Stone of Responsible for that song, yeah, for them anthem, um, them responsible for that one. Who <coughs> said it? St we well, bought? Yeah. That's that's not how that went. Before Budgie got locked up, he went to a Stone Love dance where Stone Love was playing. Wicker Man was there too. And um there was juggling the Punani rhythm. And Budgie have a style where him like for mix dung himself. Right. And he sang that live before he got arrested, before he recorded it. Yeah, but so, that song there. So hear, Stone Love never had it on dub per se. But me hear that song there enough years before Bujo got jail. That but that's song, what I just said. That dance was before he went okay, to jail. Okay, because when him said that, me I say yo. So, but no, who, but him never said when him uh, got jail. You know. Who do you give him credit for before that? Who are you Bujo. giving credit for that? No, me me me. I ask if you hear it before Stone Love play it because I, well according to the argument to him say 
that song that was supposed to prop off Radigan foot in a um Amazura when um them clash. And I, and let Stone Love cut it after Buju sang it live on the sound. I, I don't I, I don't, don't know credit to, Stone Love yeah, for that. I wouldn't do and, and again we got the thing we got the thing mixed <clears> up. Right? We're not we're not reading the board and we're not putting the puzzles together, right? Anthems have nothing to do with who plays it first. Mm-hmm. Anthems has everything no, to do. No, I say it's a stone of anthem, you know. It's not no stone of anthem. That's not no stone of anthem. Mm-mm. That's when you go into a stone of dance. And again, no disrespect for Father Poe. That's not the song that I'm looking for Stone Love to hear. If that song does not play, I'm not walking out of the dance disappointed. That's what anthems do. Yeah. When you are a fan of a sound system, when you walk out of the dance and that song didn't play, you mm-hmm. feel cheated. True. At least back in the, the duplet days, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That wouldn't be a song when we said, John no star. Them no play, the play. Them no play that. I would say... John know all them that play the Stone Love put on the rhythm to their star and adapt me come for ear. For like Stone Love had some signature jugglings as well as some one away tunes that if you didn't yeah, hear those songs, you kind of feel like. So picture this. Yeah. A selector come off foreign, mm-hmm. right? For play Stone Love, yeah. you got to dance. You not hear Stone Love put on, you not hear Ayaga Yaga, yo. Yeah. You not hear the ice cream sound and those things. You send to yourself, no man, I'm not stone love yeah. this. I would select yeah, this. I, I, yeah, and we don't no want that you selector to come back. And we don't want the selector to come back. <laughs> exactly. Right? So so yeah. again, anthems is not about who played it first, who came up with the idea. Anthems belong to, as unfair as it is, the sound who made it popular. Because mm-hmm. in ten out of ten cases, mm-hmm. once a sound boss it and make it popular. You, the originator, cannot convince the audience that you played it first. They don't want to hear it. True. Them don't want to hear it. Yeah. That's how our industry goes, mm-hmm. right? It's like Jay Z says to Nas, "You, you, you made it a hot line. I made it a hot song. Don't, uh, don't mean nothing." True. It, yeah, it was your line, but I turned that line into a song. True. I'm the bigger man. So yeah. you have something where you create, but you couldn't boss it. Me boss it. It's mine. Mm-hmm. And that's what sound clash and sound system culture is all about. So when people start talking about anthems and who played this first and who played, all of that is bullshit, bro. It really is. It doesn't matter. It's who identifies with the song, right? And if you hear, um, uh, 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 she cries out to the man in the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Panta. Uh, yeah. You look at if anybody else plays that, you're you're gonna first thing you're gonna say, yo, black the man in my play a black cat song, the man yeah, copy black exactly. cat bo- box, yeah. right? <clears throat> if don't matter that a million songs have it and it sound good, when you hear ring ding 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 bodyguard, yeah. mm-hmm. it doesn't have the same effect. If you're not hearing bodyguard. that bodyguard, yeah, yo, the man them get a forward off of bodyguard song. True, yeah, man. I'm sure bodyguard is not the first to cut the song. But that's what it is, you know. Mataran had some 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 um anthems. some some anthems yeah, too, true. right? Um, if you guys remember, I don't remember what Gregory Isaac it was, but Links boss it. There was a Gregory that Links boss mm-hmm. that, yeah, no, that nobody nobody even nobody thought to cut. Nobody was cutting it. Yeah, and he cut Jimmy London. He made all those songs popular, right? And people run to cut. It. How much of them do we say is Links anthem? Right? Do you say, do we walk around saying, yo, them Gregory they had links on them, you know? Mm-hmm. We just know that links played it first and it hit us by surprise and bam. I forgot which song it was. Yeah, man. No, we're trying to that, man. So we gotta we gotta be honest and understand the industry. And I'm not saying that I I know more or smarter than anybody. What I'm saying is that we're all reading the same book. Some of us is reading it sideways, some of us reading it upside down. We gotta read it the right way up. True. Right? You know. Those who have anthems, that's a special achievement in a sound system's culture, in a sound system's career. But it's not the end all. You can have anthems and still be a whack sound. True. You can have anthems and still can kill no song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? You can have no anthems and kill everything. It's just how you operate your sound. But every sound would like to be known for something. It's your signature. True. Your anthem is your signature. It kind of makes you says you arrived. You are somebody. You're known by this yeah, selection. You're known by that song. True. That's it. That's all. That's all it comes down to. We keep making anthems like yo, and for me, 
What I hate more than anything for me is when I see a sound getting beat. Yeah. Right? Just about for lose the competition and then they use the anthems to balance back up and end up winning the dance. All right, so let me ask you. People question. love that though. They yeah. love that part of it, but to me, like, yo, you, you punk, you yeah, cheated, of man. Course. Yeah, uh, you right. cheated. So why, all right, yeah. why you see it as a cheat? Because if I'm in a fight and some opponent are gonna me out and me have my defense, I'm gonna use my defense to my ability. And that it's is true. Not my fault that you don't have anthems. That is. All right. There is sounds that go on anthem. All right. If me, I go clash one sound, and me no said a sound yeah, of the anthem there. When me, I go do, me I go find every way if you go around the anthem there, which we see where I uh, fire links with a two year old sound. Kill Jaro. What did links do? Links didn't have the super cats and all of these. But what links do? Links trouble some vocals where so I'm say, I go be, I go, Freddy, I go. Depend upon when him play a film segment on YouTube and get the forwards. No, every day the money I cut veteran and all of these things. If you know say a man have a certain song where he might go depend upon and you know say the artist the pass and gone, for example, you use a judge nooks and make him sing over a certain song and your papa off a That doesn't with always work. Yes, yes. That doesn't always yes. work. But if you try it in our first round. That doesn't always work. This is what this is what and again this is how I read the dance. Right? Mm -hmm. If I got to clash a sound system and I'm pressuring them so hard and they kill me with the anthems, I won. Mm -hmm. I walk away feeling that I won. The crowd have them, you know, because of course yeah. the, the, the dance is, you know, the man last man side. standing is the winner. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you know how good I would feel if I have to clash a sound system, you know, a major sound system, and it took them anthems to defeat me? Mm -hmm. Then I know no, that no, 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 it's, no, yeah. it's a big achievement. That, that's the that big, achievement. A big achievement. Yeah. So what I'm saying to you is that when you look at these sound systems, in my opinion, and the defi deciding factor is anthems to save your life, you die. True. You just gotta re you gotta rebirth. You die. You're dead in the dance, you know. Mm -hmm. But because you have that, one time I asked Drew, what's better? Anthems? Rumble talk Drew. I said, what's better? Mm -hmm. Anthems or um or, or, or no anthems. He said, what do you mean? Anthems better. I said, all right, cool. Right? So I went back to him. I said, yo, let me ask you something. Two kids fighting in the schoolyard. Right? Mm -hmm. One kid fights, and he's just fighting for his life. But he gets beat, beat up all the time. But he's willing to fight. Another kid, as soon as you thump him in the face, he runs home and gets his brother, and his brother comes and beats up everybody in the schoolyard. Mm -hmm. Which kid you respect more? He said, the one, that, the, one, the one that stays home stays and fight. Mm -hmm. I said, well, the big brother's the anthems, bro. <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, the big true. brother's the anthems. True. True. So it just depends on how you look at it. For me, so I'm not against anthems. I think they're ultimate achievements. But I also respect sounds that got no anthems and still killing sounds. True. Yeah. Thank you for watching another episode of Sound Chat Radio on Irish and Chin's YouTube channel. If you like what you saw, please subscribe by hitting the red button. If the button is still red, that means you did not subscribe. Also, like and share. And don't forget to leave a comment. In fact, press that notification button while you're at it.